I want to go ahead and uh, put this in perspective that um, I don't condone anything that just happened within the past couple of days. Uh, first of all, uh, today is supposedly the 50th anniversary of the killing of Martin Luther King Jr. And um, I wanted to make a video um, talking about that, but, you know, since other things have crossed my mind, such as this woman who decided to um, shoot three people at YouTube headquarters um, and then kill herself, it, it's, it's more or less become priority. Uh, first of all, um, the thing between me and YouTube, just because I don't like YouTube doesn't mean, you know, things are going to happen. You know, the same things that happened to me apparently happened to this woman. Uh, her videos and channel got demonetized. She lost her monetizing stuff just like I did. And uh, she got a couple of strikes on her channel, just like I did. She got frustrated to the point where she decided to take a gun and go shoot up YouTube. That I do not condone at all. You know, there, there's ways of, you know, fighting back and trying to kill as many people as possible is, is not the way. Now, uh, this woman did not kill anybody. She only shot three people. And those three people are still alive. They're recovering if they haven't already recovered. And then she ended up killing herself. So I don't really know what what, what to say about that. I don't know. I really don't know what her videos were about. Hell, I don't even know what her fucking channel is. All I know is that it was just some fucking woman who decided it was a good idea to go shoot up YouTube just because they were fucking with her, just like they're fucking with me. Now, the difference between me and this woman is that I fight with words. Now, I may support the First and Second Amendment freely on this fucking channel, but I'm not going to do so by taking a fucking gun flying all the way to San Bernardino and start shooting up the fucking place. That's fucking stupid. That's inhumane. That's just... It's, it's hilarious, actually. The reason why I find it hilarious is that she, had, she didn't kill anybody, which I'm pretty sure that was her intent, was to try to kill as many, many people as possible, possible before killing herself. She only saw three fucking people, so she just shot at them, then ended up killing herself after she was like, oh, fuck this shit. I find it funny, mainly because this is the thing that YouTube is trying to fight against. They're trying to fight with people with guns. And this was a bad person, clearly, with a gun, who had some bad thoughts and decided to do something real stupid and dumb. That day she became a criminal. And that day she decided to die for it. So now what? YouTube will probably get more security. That's, that's probably probably what they'll do. They'll probably upgrade their security. They'll probably hire some security guards with guns. They'll probably continue their war against guns. And they'll probably continue to demonetize and fuck with people who support guns. This event has not changed my stance on guns. This event has not changed my stance on the First or Second Amendment. I still fully believe in the First and Second Amendment. 
And if anybody else has a problem with that, then go fuck yourself. This channel has a freedom to express. And this is my way to express myself. And there's not one goddamn person in the world that could tell me otherwise. And if you do, you are violating the Constitution. You should be held for treason. It doesn't matter what your stupid little rule book is. You cannot violate my constitutional right. With that being said, now that that's all out of the way, we can move on to what I kind of wanted to talk about. Martin Luther King Jr. died 50, 50 or so years ago today. Or however many years ago. He died after he gave his final speech in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm not going to go into any detail about what this speech was about. You can go find it for yourself. That night, oh so long ago, he was shot and killed. Possibly by a Democrat. Was Martin Luther King Jr. Republican or Democrat? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care. They'd probably tell you on CNN for all I care. I don't even watch CNN. CNN can suck my dick. The reason why we'll be talking about Martin Luther King Jr. tonight, and the only other reason why we'll be talking to Martin Luther King Jr. tonight, is because of the way I have my channel set up. Now, within the next couple of days, I will give another, yeah, another update to this channel. Into my Twitch channel. And then within the next week or so, I'll have my laptop back. Hopefully fixed. And... That, and we'll pretty much be back on track. So let's get started with why we're talking about him. This channel was built on the views and beliefs that the truth must be shown. That was my original thought in becoming one death eater. That was my that was my thought process. Speak the lies or warn about the lies, speak the truth. Rant, rave, so on and so forth. That eventually changed and more or less morphed into what this channel is today. Where I'm still more or less telling my thoughts and things, warning about the lies, and telling the truth. These views that I have were pretty much, I wouldn't say based, but more or less inspired, I would say, by the way Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. 
did his speeches. He spoke his views, he spoke his thoughts, and he spoke without fearing that he might die the next day. And guess what? 50 years ago today, he made a speech and died a martyr. He spoke about who he is and died by it. Died because he was getting too powerful. Died because this guy is potentially dangerous. He died because what if this guy becomes president? God forbid. I somewhat believe that if he was alive today, still, I believe he would still influence the world, or at least America. And hopefully change it for the better. Maybe we wouldn't have had Obama as president. Maybe we wouldn't be divided as we were, or as we are today. And maybe if he had found my channel... He probably would have endorsed me. Now to those that might say, well, you're just a white kid. Well, if you say that, then you're pretty much going against everything that Martin Luther King Jr. stood up for. He stood up against racism. He stood up against the bullies and the politics, the political correctness that's still going on today. He stood up for himself. And though it started as, you know, a civil rights movement, He stood up, not only for black people, but for other ethics as well, for Asians, for Muslims, for Christianity, all, all races, including white people, all religions religions, excuse me. And at the end of the day, he inspired a lot of people. And although a lot of this channel gets a lot of its inspiration from other gaming channels. He does have a little influence onto this channel. So therefore, I must thank him. For I guess everything that he's done and everything that he's accomplished, even though he's technically not with us anymore, and hasn't been with us for quite some time. <clears throat> but with that being said, 
I think we can all still learn from basically his teaching, his methods, his speeches, and so on and so forth. And hopefully, hopefully we have a world where we don't have this kind of crap anymore. Where we don't have to fear for our lives at every fucking turn. That's my hope. My dream, though, is hopefully to have a successful channel. And it's, it's getting there slowly. I guess we'll just have to continue to find out. With that being said... I hope you guys have been enjoying my content so far. Sometime this week, I'll have another update about what's going on this month. And uh, we're, we're probably going to be doing monthly updates. And um, hopefully a podcast eventually. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this sort of stuff, please hit the subscribe button and share my channel. I would like to inspire as many people as I've been inspired. And if any of my content inspires you, then help me to inspire other people. Leave a like. Leave a subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a video or when whenever I go live. Speaking of which, my 90-day um, ban of not being able to live stream is coming up fairly shortly. I should be able to stream within the next week. And I'll be streaming pretty often. So... Have that to look forward to. If it doesn't get lifted, I'm going to have a conniption fit and probably yell at YouTube as to why I'm still unable to stream. Because my 90 day band is almost up. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.